today on NBC. Live, you're watching Today in L.A. Good morning. It's May 30th, Memorial Day. Thanks for joining all of us. I'm John Caddy's Clee Mack in for Alicia Lane. And I'm Kathy Barrow. We're going to start with weather and traffic as always. And Sean, watching the roads on this holiday. Yeah, looking at wide open roads. Nice to see on this holiday. You wouldn't expect volume. And so uh, we're going to deliver not volume. We do have a couple of accidents out there to tell you about that we've been telling you about. So we'll update those. And we're breaking out a new sponsor. Ooh, which is always oh, exciting. exciting. So stick around for 604 oh, and you're going to see us. our new sponsor. <laughs> okay, we'll stick around. Meanwhile, we had the winds yesterday, yes. but what's nice when we do, it's so pretty the next day. Mm -hmm. It's the day after where you appreciate those winds. Uh, we've got a beautiful start to the morning. Minus the cloud cover, the winds will begin dying down throughout the latter part of the day, and that is going to provide a nice warm-up as well. We've got lots of sunshine in the forecast for you, so we'll share the forecast for you not only on this Memorial Day, but also what you can expect as you head back to work tomorrow. All Great. Right. Thanks, Alita. Mm -hmm. Topping our news this morning, a shocking discovery, discovery in Ontario. Human body parts have been found inside a home there, and police were called after someone spotted a woman moving at least one body out of the house. Gina Kim, live in Ontario this morning with a coroner expect to arrive in just a few hours. Gina? Hey there, John. That's right. Uh, and all the information that we have is from the coroner's office because the Ontario PD not saying a thing right now, but we can tell you that the police have been out here since yesterday afternoon when they got reports that a woman was moving a body or body parts in a trash can out in the open here on the streets. We're at Holmes and H here in Ontario. Now to make sure the neighbors uh, here weren't exposed to the trash can, police moved it to the coroner's office, but it appears they didn't take everything. The coroner will be out here again this morning, presumably to retrieve additional remains that were discovered. Police also plan to be out here all day and we're told all night. In fact, this is going to be a lengthy investigation and hopefully in a few hours from now when the PIO arrives here at the scene, we'll know a little bit more about who this woman is, uh, who the victim is and how this all came to be. Live in Ontario, Gina Kim today in L.A. Yeah, very strange case. All right. Thanks, Gina. This morning, Irvine police say a suspected drunk driver is responsible for a crash that injured four teenage girls. The accident happened early Sunday morning near the intersection of Culver Drive and Irvine Boulevard. Police say a man driving a Toyota pickup collided with a Mercedes Benz carrying a father, his daughter and three other teenage girls. The stepfather of one of those girls posted on Facebook that she was brain dead. Police and hospital officials will not confirm that information. Sunday evening, family and friends gathered at the accident scene for a prayer vigil. He clipped us. Um, all I knew that the world started spinning and, and um, banging and grass is breaking everywhere. Her face was covered in blood. That, that's, that image just keeps playing in my head over and over again and it keeps haunting me. Police say 26-year-old Austin Farley was driving the Toyota pickup. He was arrested on suspicion of drunk driving. Farley's bail is set at $100,000. According to Orange County court records, Farley was previously convicted for driving under the influence. This morning, police have made an arrest in connection with a suspected street racing crash in Oxnard that injured seven people. Happened on Mulhart Drive Saturday night. Investigators say two drivers were racing when one of them sped through an intersection without stopping. That car struck an SUV carrying a family of five, causing it to flip on its roof. A six-year-old girl is in critical condition this morning, and one of the drivers and a passenger were also taken to the hospital with broken bones. Charges against him are pending. The other driver fled the scene. Police say they tracked him down and charged him with driving under the influence, street racing, and hit and run. High surf is pounding the Southern California coast this morning. So let's show you live right now, Sycamore State Beach. A high surf advisory is in effect for LA and Ventura counties. The dangerous waves are expected to last through mid morning. Now over the weekend, the strong winds brought six to eight foot surf along the west facing beaches. Surfers took advantage, but the conditions were enough to drive swimmers and some boats out of the water. In Dana Point, a man died when he was swept off a boat by a huge wave. It happened last night near the Dana Strands. The boat carrying two men and two women got pinned against some rocks. That's when a massive wave washed all four people into the water. Three of the people were safely rescued, but one man was pulled from the water in critical condition. You see it there. He later died at the hospital. 
This morning, Long Beach police are working to solve a freeway murder mystery. Two men were found shot to death Saturday night inside an SUV on the 405 freeway. The vehicle was stopped on the shoulder of the northbound lanes near the 710 freeway interchange. I don't know who did it and why they do it, why they did it, but they took a piece of me. I'm angry because my brother's not here. Um, one thing that we've um, been brought up to do is to forgive. So um, I don't know, I'm, I'm just hurt. Investigators say gunshots were fired from a southbound passing car when they were looking for evidence, but they don't believe those shots are linked to the shooting of the two men. It's 604 now, time to check traffic and weather in the fours. Good morning, Sean Murphy. Good morning to you, John, and here we go. We're starting things off with our live shot and the 210 freeway at Sierra Madre, wide open, no delays to look at here. No delays anywhere, in fact, no volume issues. And so let's go to the maps. We'll take a look at our westbound 118 approaching Reseda Boulevard. On the shoulder sits the accident this morning. We've got that second accident on the south five approaching the 2257 interchange on the shoulder and the center divide this morning taking a peek around looking for problems nothing to see here San Bernardino everything is quiet at this hour down there uh, near the Laguna Beach area you've got the 405 and the 5 everything is running swell mm -hmm. 91 West 65 is still the average speed 16 minute ride from the 15 to the 55 and your traffic report is sponsored by the Bank of the West we'll have more traffic for you at 614 now, Alita has your forecast. All right, nice reveal there by the Bank of the West Traffic Report. All right, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday to you. Yes, Memorial Day, and we're starting off with beautiful skies over LAX. You can see we're starting off with a lot more in the way of sunshine than cloud cover as we did yesterday and dry roadways out there. As we take a look at the forecast for you today, this morning, temperature reading starting off in the 40s and 50s, 58 degrees right now in the downtown Los Angeles area, 53 in Long Beach, upper 40s in Palmdale. Those of you waking up in Anaheim this morning, 53 upper 50s around Huntington Beach, wondering what this Memorial Day has has in store for you. We've got an ample amount of sunshine this afternoon. The winds will begin dying down. We still have that high surf advisory at least until 9 o'clock this morning for LA and Ventura County coastal areas. Away from the coast, inland spots in the mid 70s, even some low 80s around the valleys. And then we'll see temperature readings starting to cool a little bit by midweek. That's a look at your forecast for now. Back to you too. All right. Thanks a lot, Alita. Today, ceremonies all over the country honor war heroes who gave their lives to serve our nation. Stephanie Stanton is live in Boyle Heights where a 24 hour vigil is part of the Memorial Day ceremonies. Good morning, Stephanie. Yeah, good morning to you, Kathy. This is one of the more unique memorials going on here in Los Angeles, the Mexican All Wars Memorial. And this is a 24 hour vigil, as you said. It started yesterday at 10 a.m. It will commence today at 10 a.m. And what's happening here, you can see behind me a little bit, is veterans are coming here and essentially standing guard outside this memorial. They're doing this in about a 30 minute rotation. So every 30 minutes, someone will again stand guard at this post. And one of the veterans participating participating is Stephanie Stone. She is with the Veterans Advisory Commission. Stephanie, thank you so much for being with us. Tell us uh, when and where did you serve? Oh, well, I served for 20 years in the United States Navy, starting off my career in Florida and ending my career here in Los Angeles with the Navy Recruiting District in Los Angeles. Why was it important for you to be part of this? You know, I, I come from a long family, uh, a long lineage of, of veterans. My great aunt and uncle, many of my great uncles served in the Army. My mother and father were in the military, and so when I had an opportunity to serve, I served my 20 as well. And, and I think that here coming from this community, there's so many um, that have given the ultimate sacrifice that being a part of this ceremony today is really very meaningful. And just just quickly, you know, for maybe the younger generation, people who may not understand the true impact of Memorial Day, what's your message to people? What do you want people to know or maybe the young people to sort of pass on? That, um, you know, it's it's been said many times, freedom is not free, but this is an example, I think, uh, an opportunity for us to remember those people who have given the ultimate sacrifice. We have Veterans Days to remember our vets that have served in uniform. Today is the day to remember those that have fallen in uniform, and there's so many that are, are serving today um, overseas, and many that won't be coming back to join their families. Thank you, Stephanie. Very well said. And again, this is just one of many events going on around Los Angeles. For a full list, you can check out our website at NBCLA.com. We're live in Boyle Heights. I'm Stephanie Stanton. Back to you.
Thank you, Stephanie. The geezer bandit strikes again. We got some details on its latest heist I mean, coming up. Also ahead right here, are oil companies fixing prices at the pump? What one lawmaker is doing? We'll be right back. Tonight is the night LAPD, hands your head. for new law and order Boom. at 9, 8 central. Welcome back, detective. D'Onofrio returns on new law and order criminal intent. Come on! Are you a crazy person? <laughs> and at 10, 9 central, it's espionage. They're Russian spies. On new law and order LA. We mere pawns in a much bigger game. You didn't know that, did you? New law and order CI. New law and order LA. Tonight, 9, 8 central on NBC. When it comes to luggage, you just can't beat Ross. You'll find the latest styles at unbeatable savings. Like this four-wheel spinner, $80 at department stores. At Ross, it's just $39.99. Ross, unbeatable. Technology you've never seen before. Anywhere. Ever. Which raises a good point. If you're going to buy a new luxury car, shouldn't there be something new about it? Visit your local Lincoln dealer for this exceptional lease offer, plus four years complimentary maintenance on Lincoln MKX. It's not just luxury, it's smarter than that. Every baby should be swaddled in the comfort and security of our softest diaper ever. Pamper Swaddlers, our softest protection for every little miracle. What's hot this June? The next featured $5 footlong of the month, the Chipotle Chicken and Cheese. Tender, juicy chicken, melty cheese, taste terrific red onions, and rich, smoky Chipotle Southwest sauce on flatbread or your favorite freshly baked bread. It's a taste bud tango in June only when it joins our many $5 footlong favorites. The delicious Chipotle chicken and cheese, featured $5 footlong of June. Come try this latest $5 footlong hit. Subway, eat fresh. At department stores, this handbag sells for $46. At Ross, the same bag is just $18.99. So you can also get a hat, sunglasses, and a wallet and still have money left over. Ross, unbeatable. Welcome back to Today in L.A. at 611, and he's at it again. The FBI thinks the so-called geezer bandit hit a bank in San Luis Obispo County Friday afternoon. Now, this is the 14th robbery by the same suspect since August 2009. Most of the crimes have been in the San Diego area. The FBI says a suspect's elderly features could be a disguise. There's a $20,000 reward for his capture and conviction. I can't seem to find that guy. Well, a New York senator is calling for a government probe into possible price fixing by U.S. oil refineries. Senator Charles Schumer says gas prices have been on the rise for too long. He wants the Federal Trade Commission to find out why profits for oil refineries are so high. He also wants to know why refining capacity is only at 80 percent. Schumer cited a report that says refineries are scaling back stockpiles to inflate fuel prices. Who's in and who's out? We're live in Washington, D.C. with an update on the race for the White House. Plus, a lewd photo sent from his Twitter account why this New York congressman says it was all a big misunderstanding. The Sonata gives you more horsepower than the Camry, better mileage than the Accord, and now something even better, the Hyundai Assurance Trade-In Value Guarantee. Buy a 2011 Sonata, and we'll tell you now what it'll be worth later when you trade it in on your next Hyundai. Guaranteed. It's like you guys got your back. Hey, that's my line. Now, to celebrate Memorial Day, get 0.9% APR on the Sonata or a $1.99 a month lease, but only at your Southern California Hyundai dealers. Here we go again. The fun never ends. Now all we need is you. Chris, there's so much for everyone here at Knott's. I can't wait for the new Windseeker. The live shows are great, and the kids are pumped about visiting Camp Snoopy. Love, Anne.
614, time to check traffic and weather on the fours. Good morning, Sean. Good morning to you, John, and uh, good morning to you as we take a peek at the problem here on the southbound 5 approaching the 2257 interchange. The accident not causing much attention there. One vehicle on the shoulder, the other on the center divide, and the other accident on the shoulder of the road is the westbound 118 in Granada Hills approaching Reseda Boulevard. Up to the Newhall Pass, nothing doing here. The 14 and the 5 looking good. The 405, actually the 110 and the 101. Let's look at some travel times here on the bottom. North 110 from the 105 to the 10 is an eight minute commute at 58 miles an hour. 11 minute ride on the South 101 from the 134 straight into downtown 55 is the average speed. Here you go with your 405 travel time in the stretch between the 118 freeway and the 101 for the southbound rider is a seven minute commute. 23 minute ride on the 101 Ventura freeway between Moore Park Road and the 405, both speeds there in the mid 60s. You've got travel times which are good on the 210. The 60, the 10 still not registering, but there are no delays. And the 91 West from the 15 to 55 is a 16 minute ride at 65 miles per hour. That is your Bank of the West traffic report. And we will have more coming your way at 624. Now here comes my pal, Alita Lareska. All right, thank you so much, Sean Murphy. Good morning, everybody. Live pictures this morning, courtesy of our uh, Val or not our Valley Cam. This is our Catalina camera, and you can see a little bit of haze off in the distance. Otherwise, lots of sunshine this morning. We've got some wind still to contend with, at least for the LA and Ventura County mounting communities through nine o'clock this morning, and also some high surf. We'll get to all those advisories in just a bit. First, a check of temperature readings currently in Fountain Valley. Temperature readings in the low 50s, upper 40s in La Cunada, Flint Ridge. Porter Ranch this morning, starting off in the low 30s, one of our cooler spots, mid 40s, and Rancho Cucamonga reporting mostly clear skies, uh, clear skies rather. And we do have those strong winds. LA and Ventura County mountain communities under a wind advisory. High surf lasting at least until 9 a.m., so areas shaded in pink is where we'll see some dangerous uh, surf at least through mid-morning. Uh, the winds will be picking up out, the, out of the north to northwest. 20 to 30 mile per hour winds gust to 50, and the high surf uh, you can see anywhere between 6 to 8 feet along the west-facing beaches. This afternoon, lots of sunshine in the forecast. Unlike yesterday, it looks like the cooler air mass that moved through yesterday afternoon is now moving eastward. High pressure moving in briefly today and part of tomorrow. And then as we look upstream, we've got some clouds already beginning to push across the Pacific Northwest over Northern California later on tonight and into tomorrow. Before this afternoon, nice and warm. Inland areas in the upper 70s to low 80s, low 90s around Palm Springs or mountain communities today, anywhere in the 60s. You can see the high desert areas in the mid to upper 70s, Antelope Valley, Apple Valley areas. 76 degrees today, downtown Los Angeles, Inland Orange County areas in the mid to upper 70s, coastal areas anywhere in the mid to upper 60s to low 70s from Ventura County all the way down through Orange County. 78 in Ojai and we're going to talk uh, temperature readings around Santa Cruz in the mid 70s today. That's a look at your forecast for now. Your seven day coming up at 624. Thanks, Alita. This week, another prominent Republican is set to kick off his presidential campaign. But another unannounced favorite of the Tea Party battles for the media spotlight. Tracy Potts is live in Washington with more on who's in and also the big GOP name still on the sidelines. Good morning, Tracy. Hey, Kathy, John. Good morning, everyone. So what's the wild card here? Sarah Palin is the wild card. She is kicking off this campaign like bus tour, but we still don't know if she's really running for president. We saw Palin here over the weekend at the Pentagon speaking with employees there and then participating in the Rolling Thunder bike ride, an annual event of uh, uh, bikers here in the uh, D.C. area on the Memorial Day weekend. She's headed to New Hampshire, big primary state, but we still don't really know why was Sarah Palin in D.C. this weekend. You know, it's a debt of gratitude that we owe to our vets. It's not the politician, it's not the reporter who allows our freedom, it's our vets. I don't see Sarah Palin getting into the race at all. I don't think there's a place for her now. I think the real Sarah Palin is Michelle Bachman, and she's in. Well, she hasn't said so officially yet. Michelle Bachman, the conservative from Minnesota, also rumored to be eyeing a presidential run, but we just don't know for sure yet. Mitt Romney, by the way, who also has yet to announce, has said that he is going to uh, likely make that announcement on Thursday. So we should hear something before the end of the uh, week on him, but there's still a lot out there, Kathy and John, who just simply haven't said yet whether or not they're running. Giuliani, John Huntsman, the list is growing. 
no one wants to commit or they just don't want to start spending all their money. I don't know. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Tracy. Well, a New York congressman says it was actually a hacker who broke into his Twitter account and sent a Seattle college student a lewd photo of a crotch. Congressman Anthony Weiner represents parts of Queens and Brooklyn. His office released a statement saying the lawmaker's account was hacked in order to distract him from his work. The photo appeared in Weiner's Twitter stream on Friday. It was addressed to the 21-year-old student, but it was visible to all 40,000 of Weiner's Twitter followers. The student has backed the congressman's story. She told the New York Daily News that they're both victims of pranksters and she's never even met him. Still ahead, honoring those who pay the ultimate sacrifice. Plenty of Memorial Day events planned across Southern California this morning. We're live with the details. Coming to Legoland, I sense something. New Star Wars Miniland. See seven of your favorite Star Wars scenes built entirely out of Lego bricks. So activate your lightsaber. Jedi wanted. Adventurers wanted. Explorers wanted. Heroes wanted. Free child ticket with paid adult ticket with any purchase at participating KFC restaurants. And for some wet fun, the Legoland Water Park is now open. Michael loved the ring I gave her today Till she saw how much I had to pay Don't get soaked paying double The Jewelry Exchange has thousands of certified diamonds At the guaranteed lowest price The Jewelry Exchange, online or in-store Start something fab Celebrate five years of the Beatles' love by Cirque du Soleil Save $100 on a deluxe room for two nights Two love show tickets and poolside cabana for the day Call or book online The Mirage Vegas starts here Diane was already the chief operating officer at a national tissue bank when she decided to get her master's in health care administration. By choosing a university that connects working students to faculty who are also leaders in their fields, she was able to apply her studies to the real world and help more people much quicker. My name is Diane Wilson. I deliver the best gifts on earth, and I am a phoenix. University of Phoenix is proud to sponsor Education Nation because we believe an educated world is a better world. Millions have been captivated by these adorable little creatures. Check out the otters in their new home at the Aquarium of the Pacific. Say hello to Maggie, our latest addition to the otter clan. Visit the Molina Animal Care Center. These are just two more reasons to rediscover the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach. Come to one of the best entertainment values around. The Aquarium of the Pacific, where the ocean and people connect. The Aquarium, the Aquarium of the Pacific. Are they cute or what? Welcome back at 623 and oh how the time flies. This is Dunder, the German Shepherd and his owners took a picture of him every day for a year. Now everyone online can watch him grow from a puppy to an adult in a matter of seconds. Dunder celebrated his first birthday less than two weeks ago. The video now has more than two million hits on YouTube. What I find amazing is that they're able to get him in the exact same spot every time. <laughs> same expression. <laughs> Every day is the same for Dunder. <laughs> That's a cute idea. Oh, uh, there's his happy hey, face. Nice. Yeah, right. Now he's smiling. <laughs> 6.24 right now. Let's check traffic hey, and weather Sean. on the fours. Here's Sean. Yes, good morning, Kathy, and happy Memorial Day to you and to everyone. We're looking at the 605. Here you go, Pico Rivera. This is, kind of, this is what you got out there this morning. You got wide open, wide open roads. A car here and there, a truck. But that's it, folks. Let's get uh, a look at a map. See what's going on there. Southbound 605 travel time from the 10 to the 5. 10 minute commute. 63 is the average speed. 54 is the average speed on the north 5 from the 605 to the 101. A 10 minute commute there. Southbound 5 in orange approaching the 22. You've got the shoulder and center divide taken up with two vehicles in a crash. Carpool lane is blocked here on the westbound 118 approaching Reseda Boulevard. And finally, a peek at the Newhall Pass shows us good conditions there with a lot of green stuff to stare at. More traffic is coming your way at 634. Now Alita Lareska has your forecast. All right, thank you so much, Sean. Good morning, everybody. We've got some beautiful stuff to stare out here in the Southland. This is our Mount Wilson camera, and it's capturing a gorgeous shot across the L.A. Basin this morning. Off in the distance, a little bit of haze. Otherwise, we've got mostly sunny skies. This afternoon, some warmer temperatures will be developing, and those winds will be dying down. So definitely not quite as windy as yesterday. High surf wind advisories lasting at least until 9 o'clock this morning. Meanwhile, afternoon highs today along the coast will be in the low 
70s, milder than yesterday afternoon. Inland spots in the mid 70s, you get even further inland into the valleys. Temperature readings today in the low 80s, and we'll copy that for tomorrow. Then perhaps some clouds entering the forecast by midweek. Onshore flow returning will allow for some cooler temperatures on Wednesday. Minor warming on Thursday, and then temperatures cool off again as we head into the weekend. All right, that's a look at your Memorial Day forecast. Hope you have a good one. Back to you too. Thanks, Alita. Bad weather causing major problems for holiday travelers in Chicago. Heavy thunderstorms, high winds, and lightning forced the cancellation of about 400 flights at O'Hare International yesterday. Several flights were finally able to depart after several delays, several hours, I should say. There were also delays at Chicago's other major airport at Midway International. The National Weather Service issued severe thunderstorm and flash flood warnings for the area. And get this, one suburb received an inch of rain in just 15 minutes. That is incredible. Well, we'll have a check of our top stories just ahead today in L.A. A bizarre story in Ontario this morning. We're live outside a home where a woman was spotted pushing a trash can with body parts inside. Just one of our stories still ahead. Here's a live look from our San Fernando Valley camera. It's 626. News is brought to you by Big Lots. Think extreme value. Think Big Lots. All right, Carrie, next one. On my way. Some people go to extremes to get your attention. Is there a Mr. Cobray here? Oh, that's me. I'm Mr. Cobray. Hello. Hello? Is anybody out there? At Big Lots, we get your attention with extreme values, like saving $50 to $200 on mattress sets and $30 to $100 on matching sofa sets and sectionals. Plus, this 15-foot by 42-inch metal pool is just $198. Think extreme value. Professional driver on a closed course. Do not attempt at home. Always wear your seatbelt. And please, drive responsibly. It's the most fun you can legally have. The powerful Mercedes-Benz C-Class. See your authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer for exceptional offers through Mercedes-Benz Financial Services. At Wells Fargo, we love helping business owners move forward. When all you have is an idea. When business is picking up. When business is expanding. We're there for you. With solutions ranging from payroll to cash management, all backed by the number one small business lender in the nation. So we're with you when you're ready to move forward. Wells Fargo. Together we'll go far. Turkeys don't make great tattoo artists. They make great burgers. And that's just the way it is. The new under 500 calorie charbroil turkey burger from Carl's Jr. Dad? Hmm? It's time. You'd be a really nice catch for somebody. Please? Just for Men takes five easy minutes, targets only the gray hair, and can start something great. Yes! Just for Men. Your out of style gold jewelry is in style with us. Hi, I'm Shane. And I'm Joe. And we're the gold guys. Your class ring doesn't fit? That herringbone necklace is tangled up. Bring your old broken and out of style gold jewelry to us and be surprised at what it's worth. Shop around and then come back to us for the highest price guarantee. Our warm, friendly staff will guide you through the entire process. Visit us at our beautiful store here at Brea Mall in Brea or check us out online at goldguys.com. And remember, we're the gold guys. Live, you're watching Today in L.A. Good morning. It's Monday. It's May 30th, Memorial Day. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kathy Varad. And I'm John Kathy's Kleemak in for Alicia Lane. Happy Memorial Day to you. And to you guys. And thank you very much, John. It's good to be here this morning. Good to be with you. We're looking at a couple of accidents. That's about all we have. We don't see any volume delays. We don't see any disabled vehicles out there. The construction's wrapped up. The, uh, any of that... Well, basically, it's been a construction-free night in the typical sense because the ongoing projects, now the long-term ones where they just have the barrels up and the cones, they're still out there. So I'll give you a couple of those just to 
fill Twice time. Twice the time. <laughs> you no, know, honesty, it's good. And, yeah. um, you know, we had the winds yesterday. Hopefully yeah. they'll die down soon. Yeah, we're going to replace those winds with uh, some improved conditions today. We've got some sunshine back in the forecast. You'll notice that as you take a little peek outside of your window this morning and also some warmer conditions, especially inland areas. Some of you inland yesterday were kind of inundated with all those clouds and a cooler air mass, so temperatures stayed right around the upper 60s today. Some 80s in there. So we'll talk about that and, of course, what you can expect when you return to work tomorrow. All right. Very good. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. Well, today across Southern California and the country, we honor war heroes. Stephanie Stanton is live in Boyle Heights, where Memorial Day is being recognized with a 24-hour vigil. Good morning, Stephanie. Yeah, good morning to you, Kathy. This is one of the more unique vigils going on around Los Angeles. It is the Mexican All Wars Memorial. You can see what's going on behind me over my shoulder. Uh, that is a veteran, and veterans have been taking turns here standing guard at this memorial since 10 o'clock yesterday morning. This will go on until 10 o'clock this morning, 24 hours, at which point the event here will begin. Now, there are also other events going on around Los Angeles. One of them is the Canoga Park Parade. That that is the uh, Memorial Day Parade. It returns this year after a one year absence, and this year's theme is called All Gave Some, Some Gave All. That parade gets underway at 11 o'clock this morning. And then if you're headed to the west side to the beach, you might want to pay tribute to our fallen heroes at Arlington West. This is a field of crosses that are on display on the sand just north of the Santa Monica Pier. This is honoring the dead and the wounded. It is sponsored by Veterans for Peace, Los Angeles and Crosses will be on display until 4 o'clock today. They are asking for volunteers to actually help take some of those crosses down. And then uh, let's take a look at the full screen. There are some other events I want to tell you about. Uh, one of them, Los Angeles National Cemetery. This is the 122nd annual Memorial Day program. That starts at 1030 this morning. There will be several uh, celebrities in attendance in addition to, of course, many veterans. They'll have a pretty large program there. Then uh, what's being called the largest Memorial Day observance gets underway in Rancho Palos Verdes at the Green Hills Memorial Park. That's at 10 a.m. Some 5,000 people expect expected to attend there. And then the 15th annual Memorial Day celebration at Forest Lawn Cemetery in Hollywood Hills. That's at 10 o'clock this morning and our own Fritz Coleman will be master of ceremonies. Now uh, for more events and more information, you can log on to our website at NBCLA.com. That is the latest live here in Boyle Heights. I'm Stephanie Stanton today in LA. Back to you. All right, Stephanie, thank you. This morning, Long Beach police are working to solve a freeway murder mystery. Two men were found shot to death Saturday night inside an SUV on the 405 freeway. The vehicle was stopped on the shoulder of the northbound lanes near the 710 freeway interchange. Police identified the man as Reginald Watson Sajones and Derek Alexander Bruno. I don't know who did it and why they do it, why they did it, but they took a piece of me. I'm angry because my brother's not here. Um, one thing that we've um, been brought up to do is to forgive. So um, I don't know, I'm, I'm just hurt. Investigators say gunshots were fired from a southbound passing car when they were looking for evidence, but they don't believe those shots are linked to the shooting of the two men. High surf is pounding the Southern California coast this morning. Looking live from Sycamore State Beach in Ventura County. Wow. The advisory is in effect for L.A. and Ventura counties today. The dangerous waves expected to last through mid-morning. Over the weekend, the strong winds brought 68-foot surf along west-facing beaches. Surfers took advantage, too, but the conditions were enough to drive swimmers and some boaters out of the water. And with understanding, it's 634 right now. Time to check traffic and weather on the fours. We'll check in with Sean. Hey, good morning, Kathy, and good morning to... You. And we're taking a live shot here of the 60 freeway, Atlantic Boulevard exit. Nice, nice shot here with the sun coming up and uh, some headlights still on, but no problems with, to worry about as far as any delays go. You're going to be light all morning long volume wise in uh, Glendale, 64 miles per hour. The sensor speed there on the 134 between the 5 and the 405 traffic is moving without any problems. Southbound 5, good news here. The accident cleared approaching the 2257 interchange. Carpool lane and the one lane are blocked here now in Granada Hills on the westbound 118 approaching Reseda Boulevard. And finally, the north 405, we have approaching Century Boulevard, a new disabled vehicle reported there taking out the one lane. 
More traffic at 644. Lita has forecast right now. All right, thank you so much, Sean. Good morning, everybody. Beautiful blue skies this morning, courtesy of our downtown Los Angeles camera. And pretty much the rest of the day is going to look just like this. A lot of sunshine mixed in and uh, warm temperatures as well. Temperature readings currently at, as follows in the 40s and 50s. 58 degrees right now, downtown Los Angeles, 53 in Anaheim. We are anticipating that the winds that we saw yesterday will begin dying down, already seeing some calm winds across much of the Southland, heading up through the grapevine this morning, still gusts anywhere between 40 to 50 miles per hour. So the National Weather Service has kept the wind advisories for the mountain of mountain areas of LA and Ventura County ongoing until nine o'clock this morning and high surf advisories in effect for LA and Ventura County coastal areas. Temperature readings along the coast will remain in the low 70s away from the coastline. We'll find highs in the mid to upper 70s, low 80s in some of the warmest valleys. A little bit of cooling by midweek. We are anticipating a little bit of cloud cover as well, moving back into the forecast by Wednesday. All right, that's a look at your forecast for now. Back to you too. Thanks, Alita. This morning, police are standing guard at a home in Ontario where body parts were discovered. Investigators say they're not sure if the remains belong to one or multiple victims, but they do believe there may be more inside. Gina Kim is live in Ontario with the latest. Gina. Hi there, John. The coroner's office will be back out here this morning, presumably to retrieve additional remains that may have been found. And detectives will be out here, too, and they say this is an investigation that's going to take all day. Now, according to the coroner's office, police got the report yesterday afternoon that a woman was moving a trash can on the street, Holmes near H, and inside was a body or parts of a body or parts of multiple bodies, are not quite sure. Apparently, some of the neighbors here may have been solicited by the woman to help her bury the contents of the trash can. Uh, the trash can has since been removed to the coroner's office. We hope to learn more about the woman, the victim, and what led up to this discovery. But right now, police aren't saying much of anything, but the PIO we hear is on his way out here, and we hope to learn more in a few hours. Live in Ontario, Gina Kim, Today in L.A. All right, thanks, Gina. Of course, we'll keep an eye on that one. Well, many kids drink them, but just how safe are energy drinks? Coming up, a new warning from doctors about some dangerous side effects. It's 637. The road can be a stressful place, so download the Road Stress Reliever app at 76.com. And relax, 76 Gas, we're on the driver's side. What makes me get up in the morning and come to work is presenting information people can use and maybe giving them a smile. We have to do things that are different, and the most important thing we can do is touch local people. The wait is over. The SoCal RV Show going on now. 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. Millions in RV inventory and massive discounts. Save tens of thousands on new and pre-owned RVs. Now in progress. 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. Go to RVShowLA.com. I got involved with Honor Flight through my job here at Southwest Airlines. Honor Flight is an opportunity for World War II veterans to travel to Washington, D.C. to get to see their monument. You know, Joe, I'd like to thank you for honoring our country, for giving your time, and just making us so proud. On behalf of all of the veterans, you're welcome. This is who I am. Wow, San Manuel Casino. That's only 67 miles from here. I think it's time for another visit. Oh, yes, let the fun begin. All I do is play in oh. hey, hey. hey, I just love bringing the fun to San Manuel Indian Bingo and Casino. <laughs> The wait is over. The SoCal RV Show going on now. 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. Millions in RV inventory and massive discounts. Save tens of thousands on new and pre-owned RVs. Now in progress. 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. Go to RVShowLA.com. You are incredibly charming and unbelievably irresistible. This week on Days, for two couples, Stay with me. it's all about love. Days of Our Lives, weekdays at 1 on NBC. Memorial Day barbecues will be more expensive this year, 30% more than last year, in fact, due in part to the rising cost of gas. For instance, ground beef for your hamburger up 12%, a bun to put it on risen 7%,
And if you like it with lettuce and tomato, you might want to think twice. Lettuce is up 28% and tomatoes a staggering 86%. I know where to get them cheaper. <laughs> if, and if you're a potato salad enthusiast, Spud's going to cost you 13% more. And of course, we have to say it because the cost of a family gathering is priceless. Absolutely. Well, popular energy drinks may help adult athletes recharge during a sporting event, but a new report says they might be too dangerous for kids. The American Academy of Pediatrics says caffeine and other stimulants in the energy drinks can be addictive. So they shouldn't be the go-to beverage for teens and younger kids. Experts cite the high caloric and sugar content is contributing to childhood obesity, and they say energy drinks can lead to increased heart rate and blood pressure as well as anxiety in children. Doctors say the healthiest way for kids to stay hydrated is good old-fashioned water. It doesn't even taste that good either. Millions of Americans will be diving into their home improvement projects over the summer ahead. Here are some tips for those who like the do-it-yourself approach. Experts suggest first comparing the cost of hiring a professional to buying the supplies and doing the job yourself. And be sure that you're realistic about how much longer it's going to take you to complete that project. Be aware of what can go wrong when using a professional tool. If you're not trained in using them, you could injure yourself and others. People have tried to save money by doing things themselves. And what ends up happening is they potentially get hurt or they end up spending more money because they've done the project wrong. Experts say the economy has forced some people into do-it-yourself projects, and many of those home improvement shows make those projects look a little too easy. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll watch a whole day of those and think I can do it all. I would say I'm, I'm living proof of that one. <laughs> Still ahead, why the government is considering new restrictions that could affect the way firefighters respond to wildfires. Plus, what the boys in blue are doing to raise money for the tornado victims in Missouri. And we had the winds yesterday, but beautiful weather today. The skies, look at that picture. This is live from Ventura County at 641. We'll be right back. Traffic is sponsored in part by Bank of the West. A cup of coffee? You need some help? Can I help you? Can I have a pen, please? Yeah. Oh. Bank of the West. Always ready to help. That's why our customers love us more. Millions have been captivated by these adorable little creatures. Check out the otters in their new home at the Aquarium of the Pacific. Say hello to Maggie, our latest addition to the Otter Clan. Visit the Molina Animal Care Center. These are just two more reasons to rediscover the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach. Come to one of the best entertainment values around. The Aquarium of the Pacific, where the ocean and people connect. The Aquarium, the aquarium of the Pacific. Are they cute or what? Yaya may not approve of an unmarried couple living together. You are going to hell. But Yaya approves of them eating Athenos Greek yogurt. Because Athenos is made the Greek way, never using preservatives or artificial flavors. Athenos, maybe the only thing approved by Yaya. One caramel macchiato. Oh, thanks, hon. Try Coffee House Inspirations from International Delight. Flavors like rich caramel macchiato. Bring the coffee house to your house. You gonna get it to me by Friday? I don't know, I'm looking at it. I'm gonna have someone come over and take a look at it. Dad? Just a second. Uh, Dad! This summer, we have something that will really grab you. It's a sensational summer at the Disneyland Resort with all new attractions like Ariel's Undersea Adventure and Mickey's Sensational Parade, plus World of Color and more. SoCal residents can see it all with a three day ticket for just $139. So don't miss it. Have a sensational summer. Welcome back at 644. Look at this. A young man in New Zealand has made action sports history. 24-year-old Jed Milden is the first person in the world to complete a triple backflip on a BMX bike. And it's a new world record. Now, if you get motion sickness, you might want to close your eyes. <laughs> Take a good look at it from the no, helmet cam. That is a ride. He says he's pumped that the trip was successful and he hopes the recognition will make the sport more popular. Here we go again. Oh, God. I wouldn't have made it down that hill. <laughs> How many times do you fail no. doing that yeah. before you get it right? And that's the thing. Practice. 
Yeah. yeah. How many practice runs did exactly. he have? Exactly. Was that <laughs> really the first time? Broken helmet cameras. <laughs> <laughs> time to check traffic and weather on the fours. Hey, Sean, you're going to start us off here. I am, indeed. And a new problem has popped up for us on the maps, which will take you to uh, Momentito. And the 405, actually, northbound approaching La Cienega. Car crash has the two and three lanes blocked. But volume light means no delay leading towards it. You can see the westbound and eastbound 105 there at the bottom. Uh, green dots going back and forth there. So if you happen to be heading to LAX to catch a flight, nothing's going to slow you down on the roads this morning. West 118 approaching Reseda. Still two-lane blockage there with the Granada Hills car crash. We've got the 5 freeway construction project. Carpool lane is blocked until late 2014, late 2014. Uh, between the 134 and Burbank Boulevard and the on-ramps, Mount Vernon on-ramps to the northbound 215 shut down through April 2012 to southbound closed until December 1st. Your alternates for both listed below. And finally, another peak at the Newhall Pass and no problems to report here. That is your Bank of the West traffic report. We'll have more traffic coming your way at 654. And now Alita has your forecast. All right, thank you so much, Ms. Murphy. Yes, indeed, that Bank of the West uh, traffic report, very nice. All right, good morning, everybody. Also very nice this morning, our buddy, Joel Cook. Yes, our photographer there, beautiful shot here of Ventura County. We've got a beautiful sunrise shot off in the distance. This morning, we've been talking about some high surf around Ventura County and also wanted to provide this beautiful sunrise picture for you. We've got a gorgeous morning on tap. This afternoon, Memorial Day, we're starting off this morning with nice, cool, comfortable temperature readings. This afternoon, a little bit warmer, much of the area, especially away from the coastline, and the sunshine will continue through much of the day as well. Unlike yesterday, where we started off with a lot of cloud cover and even some patchy drizzle in some spots. Upper 40s right now in Claremont. Corona Del Mar, good morning to you. You're starting off in the mid-50s this morning, low 50s in Fullerton, West Hollywood, Reporting mostly clear skies with temperature readings in the mid 50s. Now this morning we're still dealing with some occasionally breezy conditions. Wind advisory still in effect across the Grapevine area. That's where some of the strongest of those winds are until 9 o'clock this morning. And then we're going to see those winds subsiding. Meanwhile, high surf advisories as well still intact across L.A. and Ventura County coastal areas until mid-morning. Those wind advisories will see gusts anywhere between 45 to 50 miles per hour. And the surf, we're talking surf ranging anywhere between six to eight feet along the exposed west-facing beaches. Now this afternoon, we're going to see a lot more in the way of sunshine compared to yesterday as that cool air mass and this trough continues to spread eastward. Now building behind this area of high pressure is another area of low pressure, another storm system that will influence our weather pattern starting midweek. A lot more of those clouds will be moving in starting on Wednesday. We'll keep a nice mix of sun and clouds through the end of the week, possibly lasting through the weekend. Cooler than normal temperatures expected as well. But for today, looks like afternoon highs in some of the warmest valleys will be in the upper 70s to low 80s. Coastal areas will be warming up in the mid to upper 60s to low 70s today. 79 in Woodland Hills, mid 70s around Santa Clarita, Burbank, high of 76 today, 75 around Thousand Oaks. That's a look at your forecast for now. Your seven day coming up at 654. Time now is 6.48. And here are some of the headlines this morning. Police say a suspected drunk driver is behind bars this morning after slamming into a man and four teenage girls. The father was driving the kids home from a birthday party when 26-year-old Austin Farley's truck slammed into their car. The stepfather of one of the girls says she is brain dead, but police will not confirm that information. Sean Kingston was rushed to a trauma center Sunday after his jet ski hit a bridge in Miami. The beautiful girl singer was pulled from the water by a passing boater. His representative confirmed that there was an accident, but would not give his condition. The victims of the infamous Jonestown massacre were honored in the Bay Area over the weekend. Hundreds gathered in a ceremony at the site where more than 400 victims are buried. 918 people died in the South American massacre back in 1978, blamed on religious leader Jim Jones. President Obama traveled to tornado-stricken Joplin, Missouri yesterday to get a first-hand look at the devastation and to offer some hope to residents. The president got a bird's-eye view of the city from Air Force One before it landed. And on the ground, Mr. Obama toured areas of the worst destruction where big-box warehouse stores are leveled and entire neighborhoods are piles of wood and twisted metal. He also attended a memorial service that remembered and honored the victims of the storm. There's no doubt in my mind that Joplin will rebuild. And as president, I can promise you, your country will be there with you every single step of the way. 
At least 139 people were killed and more than 900 injured in the F5 tornado. 43 are still missing. The Dodgers are doing their part to help the tornado victims in Joplin. Several Dodgers and manager Don Mattingly signed autographs before Sunday's game against the Florida Marlins. Dodgers relief pitcher Scott Elbert was born in Joplin and initiated the fundraiser. The U.S. Forest Service is considering restrictions on the growing use of fire retardant drops to battle California wildfires. According to an L.A. Times report, the proposed limits on fire retardant drops are part of a long-running legal battle. At issue, the environmental effects of pouring millions of gallons of chemical mixture on western wildland every year. The Times reports the Forest Service is considering restrictions that would reduce drops on and near waterways where they can kill fish. The U.S. might also expand the acres of sensitive terrain off-limits to retardant drops. The Forest Service is expected to make a final decision on the new proposals by the end of the year. More news ahead on Today in L.A. That's right. As we head to a break, here's a live look from our San Fernando Valley camera. And we'll check your top stories along with weather and traffic when we come back. It is 6.50. Right now, during the Sleep Tight and Save mattress event, JCPenney is the best place to buy a new mattress. For a limited time, receive a free box spring with all mattress purchases. Plus, save an extra 10% on all Serta, Sealy, Stearns & Foster, and Simmons mattress sets. And right now, Queen mattress sets are on sale starting at $2.99. Hurry in to save. To see all the mattresses on sale, visit jcp.com. We make style affordable. You make it yours. JCPenney. wanted to be a spy. Oh, you've got to be joking. On June 24th, somebody's been sabotaging the racers. <laughs> what is happening? You won't believe your spies. Dad, go. Gatling gun. Request acknowledged. Shoot. I didn't mean that kind of shoot. He's so good. Disney Pixar's Cars 2. Rated G. In theaters and IMAX 3D. Enough of slow DSL? Switch to Southern California's number one internet provider, Roadrunner Broadband. Now as low as $29.99 a month for one year. Get download speeds up to 10 megabits per second. Ask about speeds up to 20 megabits per second. That's up to 26 times faster than DSL. Get a $50 value rewards card when you switch to Roadrunner Broadband. Your digital life made faster with Roadrunner Broadband from Time Warner Cable. Call 1-855-TW-SWITCH. Closed captioning is sponsored in part by Living Spaces Furniture, where you can buy it today and enjoy it tonight. Dodger Stadium went to the dogs this weekend, and we're not talking hot dogs. The team is one of several Major League Baseball teams that welcomes man's best friend to the ballpark every year. Fans and their pets enjoyed the game in a special section of the stadium. Especially they had to make sure that place was clean. <laughs> There were many pregame activities, including a parade around the field. Proceeds from the Bark in the Park at Dodger Stadium will be donated to the Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Love the hats. Well, a woman in Santa Ana heard a strange noise while driving, and it turns out a kitten was stuck inside her car. The woman says she heard the cat meowing as she drove to work. She pulled into a nearby fire station to get some help. Firefighters removed the bumper, and yes, indeed, they found the kitten near the car's battery. Um, when I just left my house to go to work and I heard the sound of the cars and I stopped at the restaurant and checked out and I didn't see anything and when I driving I heard the cat meow again and I stopped at the gas station and I opened the hood but I didn't see anything so I had to drive back here. A scary trip for the little guy for sure but the kitten was okay. It was taken to an animal shelter where it will be put up for mm. adoption. Wow, that's so cute. Time now, 6.54. Time to check traffic and weather on the fours. With Sean. Good morning, John. Traffic report sponsored by the Bank of the West, and we're taking a live shot here of Orange County. The crush cam is beautiful. Dry roads, sunny skies, and guess what? Absolutely light volume on this holiday. 
we just keep saying it. So let's look at the maps and we'll show you green dots and north or southbound 57 from the 60 to the 22 is 15 minute ride at 64 miles per hour on the north five from the 91 to the 605. That's a 10 minute ride at 56 miles per hour. Your travel times. Anybody taking a train or thinking to do that on Metro Link? No service except for two round trips on the Antelope Valley line. That's what you can take. We've got an accident here in the North 405 approaching La Cienega. And finally, the West 118. We had the car crash approaching Reseda to take it up a couple lanes, but those lanes have been cleared. Again, that's your Bank of the West traffic report. We're going to have more coming your way at 725. We'll have a traffic update. And now it's time for your forecast with Alita Lareska. All right, thank you so much, Sean Murphy. Good morning, everybody. Looking good this morning. Our friends waking up in Long Beach have bright, beautiful sunshine to look forward to. Some spring warmth by this afternoon. Great shot there, the lighthouse there along the Long Beach Harbor. Afternoon uh, sunshine will contribute to some warmer temperature readings today. Coastal areas in the low 70s this afternoon, and then we're going to take it down a notch for the rest of the week. Afternoon highs mainly in the upper 60s. Inland will stay in the mid 70s this afternoon along the uh, valleys. Temperature readings in the low 80s, and then you can see a little bit of a cooling trend on Wednesday. Slight boost in those temperatures Thursday and then back down again. Uh, we see temperatures as we roll into the weekend. Here's a look at our mountain communities, mountain and deserts, mountain areas in the low 60s. We are anticipating that the winds will continue to die down through the afternoon, especially in L.A. and Ventura County, where the wind advisories are still in effect until 9 o'clock this morning. High desert areas in the upper 70s, nice and toasty in the low deserts with highs in the low 90s. That's a look at your forecast on this Memorial Day. Hope you have a great one. Back to you, too. Thanks, Alita, from the race for the White House to holiday cookouts. A lot coming up on the Today Show. Here's Natalie Morales with a look. And good morning. Coming up on this Memorial Day, Monday morning on Today, Sarah Palin rolls into Washington, D.C. and sparks new speculation that she is strongly considering a White House run. We're live with the very latest. Also ahead, just how damaging are they to the defense? The latest on those text messages sent by Casey Anthony that have been entered as evidence at her murder trial. Plus, we'll take you inside a community where people are living without electricity because they say it makes them sick. Those stories and everything you need to make your holiday cookout a success all when we get started on a Monday morning here on Today. Hope to see you then. All right, thank you, Natalie. A tech of our top stories right now. A coroner is expected at a home in Ontario this morning to examine human body parts. Yeah, police were called after someone spotted a woman moving at least one body out of the house. Gina Kim live in Ontario with the latest. Gina. Good morning, guys. That's right. All the information we're getting is from the coroner's office because the Ontario PD is not saying anything right now. But what we do know is pretty disturbing. You're looking at video that we took earlier this morning here on Holmes Avenue in Ontario. Police have not left this crime scene since yesterday afternoon when they got reports that a woman was moving a body, bodies or body parts in a trash can out in the open here on the streets. Now to make sure the neighbors here weren't exposed to that trash can, police moved it to the coroner's office, but it appears they didn't take everything. The coroner will be out here again this morning, presumably to retrieve additional remains that were discovered. Detectives will also be out here in force and possibly a few hours from now we may be able to learn more such as who this woman was and what her motive may have been or if she's even the suspect and who this victim could be. A very bizarre turn of events here this morning in Ontario. Live in Ontario, Gina Kim today in L.A. Thank you, Gina. Southern California will mark this Memorial Day with parades and ceremonies across the area. Stephanie Stanton is live in Boyle Heights. She has more on that. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning. This is uh, the Mexican All Wars Memorial. This is just one of many events going on around Los Angeles. And uh, you can see behind me, veterans are essentially standing guard here outside the memorial, a 24 hour vigil. It started at 10 a.m. yesterday. It will run through 10 a.m. this morning, at which point the event here will begin. And uh, the veterans are rotating uh, about every 30 minutes here. So uh, quite a moving memorial. There are other things going on, as we've said. Let's take a look at a full screen, show you some of the events that are being highlighted. The Los Angeles National Cemetery having its annual event. This is the 122nd annual Memorial Day program that gets underway at 1030 this morning. Then in Rancho Palos Verdes, the Green Hills Memorial Park is having the what they're calling the largest Memorial Day observance at 10 a.m. Some 5,000 people expected there. And then at Forest Lawn Cemetery in Hollywood Hills, our own Fritz Coleman will be the master of ceremonies at that event, which gets underway at 10 this morning. We're live here in Boyle Heights. Stephanie Stanton today in L.A. Thanks, All Stephanie. Right.
Thank you, Stephanie. And with all that going on today, we're going to check the weather one more time. And Alita has yes. more on that. Outdoor uh, festivities today is definitely a plus, and weather conditions are going to cooperate. We've got lots of sunshine this afternoon, no surprise drizzle. We have a little bit of some high surf, at least until mid-morning, and then those winds that you were, that we were complaining about <laughs> yesterday, not going to be an issue later on this afternoon. Not the winds, it's the debris yes. flying into my eyes. Yes, that's exactly what it have is. Have a great day. Good morning. Holiday scorcher. Widespread heat across the eastern half of the country as the unofficial start of summer arrives. Where the records could fall today. Presidential rumbling. Sarah Palin kicks off an East Coast tour with a high-profile motorcycle ride to the nation's capital, fueling new speculation about a run for the White House. If she is running, why won't she say? And ultimate sacrifice. The nation pauses to remember our fallen heroes who have died in military service to our country. Today, Monday, May 30th, 2011. From NBC News.